Early bunch stem necrosis, also known as inflorescence necrosis, is a physiological disorder of grapevines. In certain varieties and seasons, yield losses can be significant. This short InnoGrape video will review the symptoms, possible causes and management of the disorder. Early bunch stem necrosis only affects flower clusters and can be detected about a week or two before flowering. The first symptoms begin when the pedicel elongates and includes the shedding of individual flower buds with the pedicel still attached. Dried brown areas are seen at the base of the pedicels on the flowers that have dropped off. Fruit set is reduced because affected flowers or young berries do not develop. With increased severity, lateral branches of the rachis also die and fall off and in extreme cases, the entire flower cluster may shrivel and die. If many flower clusters die, dramatic reductions in yield occur. Some grape varieties are more sensitive than others. For example, the table grape variety Princess and wine grape varieties Cabernet Sauvignon and Pinot Noir are known to be particularly sensitive to early bunch stem necrosis. The disorder is more common on high vigor varieties and rootstocks and on flower clusters located in the vine interior where sunlight exposure is low. Several studies indicate that the symptoms are caused by a buildup of toxic levels of ammonium in tissues brought on by excessive shading and poor carbohydrate availability. Sufficient carbohydrate is required for plants to process excess ammonium to form amino acids and proteins essential for growth. When excessive shading reduces photosynthesis and carbohydrate, the detox cycle is impaired and results in toxic conditions for the sensitive flower clusters. Presently, there is no known control for early bunch stem necrosis. However, if elevated levels of ammonium are involved, then approaches to reduce or prevent toxic accumulation are needed. Vine stress from heavy shading, excessive fertiliser or over-irrigating could increase ammonium levels in sensitive tissues and worsen the disorder. The bottom line for growers is to ensure that susceptible varieties are managed carefully during the critical pre-flowering to early berry set period. The following recommendations generally increase sunlight in the canopy, improve vine photosynthetic capacity and increase carbohydrate reserves available for ammonium assimilation. Fertilise according to leaf or petiole analysis and growth. Avoid excessive vine vigour by lowering nitrogen usage. Avoid planting vigorous rootstocks. Avoid excessive irrigation and use soil moisture monitoring devices. Use good canopy management practices to improve light interception. Ensure good carbohydrate storage by avoiding heavy crop loads that delay harvest. Control pests and diseases that may damage leaves, disrupt and reduce carbohydrate export. Manage post-harvest irrigation to maximise photosynthesis and avoid premature defoliation. While there is no known control for early bunch stem necrosis, the severity may be reduced by managing sensitive varieties to improve carbohydrate availability and storage. This video is brought to you by InnoGrape, a table grape extension program supported by the Australian Table Grape Association, with funding from the Foundation for Rural and Regional Renewal and the William Buckland Foundation.